example, a producing or tornado was located over Edinburgh or seven miles to the east of Trenton, moving to the east very quickly at 45 miles an hour. Some of the towns that this will include and be near is Heightstown, Cranberry, Roosevelt, Mercer, Hamilton Square, Windsor, Twin Rivers, Cedarbrook Park, Princeton Junction, uh, as well as Edinburgh. This red zone here is the tornado warning from Lawrence near 295, and some of the highways that are included in this are the New Jersey Turnpike near exit 8A, as well as I-95 in New Jersey between mile markers 11 and 12, and Interstate 295 in New Jersey between mile markers 64 and 68. You see the notch, which is right over 130, as well as the split of 33, just to the south of East Windsor Township and just to the north of Robbinsville, just about to push over I-95, which we are approaching that evening rush hour. So a lot of folks on the roadways, highly traveled area of Mercer County, just to the east of downtown Trenton. Yes, it is the middle of winter, yes, it is February, and this is a rare occurrence of what we're seeing of a notch here, a gate-to-gate -gate shear, which means there is rotation on the radar. We look at the velocity. This is the wind structure within the storm, and the green is inbound, meaning winds going in towards the radar, Red is outbound winds going away from the radar. So these are two opposite forces in the atmosphere. And when you get the red and the green side by side, that is where you can get the circulation within that thunderstorm. It is right over the split of 33 and Route 130 in Mercer County. That is in central New Jersey, about to pass over I-95 here, moving to the east at 45 miles an hour. This does have a very tight little notch to it. So even though it's radar indicated at this moment, in time, we do not have any confirmed tornado on the ground, whether it be spotters or by city officials in Mercer County. But you want to take shelter in the lowest part of your homes if you are in central and eastern Mercer County. If you're near Gulf View Manor, as well as Twin Rivers, it is heading right towards Twin Rivers, Fair Play, uh, Menilapin, as you head over into Ocean County. There's the times here, Fair Play, right around the top of the hour, so you do have about nine minutes before it pushes over fair play. You only have about five minutes before it pushes over Twin Rivers. Even if this wasn't a tornado that's on the ground, it has very strong winds with it, destructive winds, as well as a lot of lightning and hail within this particular storm. It originated right around 3.40 this afternoon in Edinburgh, or seven miles to the east of Trenton, moving very briskly. And you can see the National Weather Service, who issues these warnings, has cut that warning back, so it's a little bit smaller than it was. But it does include parts of Mercer County, and then it goes into parts of Monmouth County as it's heading to the east, just to the north of I-95. Earlier, I did say Ocean County. That is not right. Ocean County is south of there. Monmouth County is the one that this, this is an update uh, that is just to the east of Trenton. So at this moment in time, the update from the National Weather Service is the center of that storm is about 13 miles to the east of Trenton. So Trenton, not within this tornado warning, downtown Trenton itself, the city. It is now 13 miles to the east of Trenton, moving at 45 miles an hour. It is now bumped over I-95, moving east at 35 miles an hour. So it has slowed its speed about 10 miles an hour from roughly 15 minutes ago when the tornado warning was issued. Now moving over Fair Play, Millstone, Sharon, Route 33, so it is, this is the border here of Mercer County going into uh, parts of North Jersey, Twin Rivers. You're getting inundated with rain, lightning, and hail because a lot of times where you don't have the notch, which is that wind that is flowing into the structure of the storm, this is where you have the heaviest rain and lightning. This is also where you have the heaviest rain, lightning, as well as hail on both sides of that corridor of the winds that funnel into the storm. So Eller's Corner corner is right in the heart of it at this moment in time. Here is Lawrence and Trenton is way back here. So it is far to the east of Trenton at this moment in time. Now over Route 30, over Route 35, uh, heading into Monmouth County. So Monmouth County not in our viewing area. So this is about to pass away from our 
viewers and those that get Channel 6 as it heads into um, areas, Menelapin as well as Millstone, that is New York City's territory with respect to broadcast television. But there it is. It's right over the edge of those two counties at this moment of time near East Windsor as well as Ellers Corner. Fair play, still seeing good structure of that internal velocity. That's the structure of the winds inside the storm moving in towards the radar, away from the radar. So that is right now over Etra Road, as well as Windsor, Perringville Road, Twin Rivers, Fair Play, moving east of East Windsor Township. It went right over Dutch Neck Road to the south of Manor and right over I-95. So 95 is right here as it passes from Route 33 east of 130 that slices through the eastern part of Mercer County. This particular uh, tornado warning, which again, if you're under it, did pass through near exit 8A of the New Jersey Turnpike, 195 between mile marker 11 and 12, and interstate 295 between mile marker 64 and 68. So it did pass over many highly traveled roads in this part of New Jersey just to the east of Trenton as we are approaching the beginning of the evening rush hour. Still showing that structure where you get that little void in the particular uh, radar imagery here. Do we have another update here as well? Okay, so we do have our first report of some damage of trees and wires on a car in Quarry Bri on Quarry Bridge Road where a Oh, Quaker, thank you, Quaker Bridge Road. So trees and wires are on a car in Quaker Bridge Road where a person is trapped in the car with trees and wires down on, excuse, West, Windsor. West Windsor is the town, okay, on West Windsor. So in West Windsor on Quaker Bridge Road, a person is trapped in the car with trees and wires down as the storm passed through West Windsor. There is East Windsor, so it is now bumping away from Mercer County, but nonetheless, just a dangerous storm here moving to the east-southeast at 35 miles an hour. So it is not a slow-moving storm. So not only do you have the winds coming in from the structure of the storm slamming down to the ground, when you have a storm moving 35, and this was originally of wind with the direction of the storm moving right over fair play right now. This tornado warning still in effect until 415. It originated at 340 this afternoon. Menelapin right there along and to the north of I-95 and Route 33 is kind of slicing between 195 and Route 33. East Windsor and right over 130, which 130 goes between the north and south of East Windsor, and then you head over onto Route 33 and the split of East Windsor Township. There's also a severe thunderstorm warning that surrounds this storm as it pushes to the east. And if, one thing I'm noting here, there's only a couple of lightning strikes on the northern side of it here, and it looks like the cell's trying to split into two here. It was one cell originally, but you're starting to split the northern part of the cell, which looks stronger than the southern part of the cell here. But when you're still under a tornado warning, of course, you want to stay in shelter, which is the first level of a home, away from windows. If you're in a high-rise apartment complex, you get to the lowest level of that complex. A basement is obviously the best place to be, but if you don't have a basement, it's an interior room that's away from windows because if it ever was to pass over your home, windows can shatter and blow in, and that's where you can get debris within your home injuring someone. So that is and the yellow near one another, but it's starting to split apart just a tad from where it originated. It is now just to the west of Manalapan and to the north of Millstone. These townships in this region here have the strongest velocity, so even though this could be in the upper part of the atmosphere and we haven't had any confirmation of a tornado being witnessed on the ground, you still can tap into those strong winds with the heavy rain coming down and the sheer speed of the storm 
storm moving on average of 40 miles an hour, originated at 45, now down to 35 miles an hour, and is, is basically riding right along Route 33. So as you progress to the east here with the towns, Manalapan at 403, so that is roughly three and a half minutes from not right now, Oakland Mills 409, Freehold at 416, Burlington Heights at 420, and then Colts Neck. Uh, that's pretty far to the Burlington Heights at 420, and then Colts Neck. Uh, that's pretty far to the east of the storm. If it ever survived that long, that would be outside of the tornado warning time period. That's at 427, but nonetheless, tornado warning or not, it is a severe storm with a history of producing some very strong winds. And in fact, if you're just joining us with this tornado, with this tornado warning that originated in eastern and central parts of Mercer County as it's pushing away from Mercer County, County and now moving into even parts of northern Ocean County, which is I-95 near Jackson. It has had one report, damage report, um, in West Windsor Township on Quaker Bridge Road. A person is trapped in their car with trees and wires on the car, and those are one of those situations. I mean, here at the station, uh, we go through rigorous training as to safety training, and if you ever have wires that are down on a car or you notice wires down on a car, you never approach that situation, you never leave that situation. You stay within the bounds of that car because of electricity that could be still uh, ongoing or still on, so to speak, and electrifying those wires so you stay within the, the realms of where you are safe. But I'm sure city officials are going to rescue or take a look at that situation in West Windsor Township. This storm now moving into Monmouth County and Ocean County. So Ocean County is our viewing area. The, the Ocean County is, I believe, not within this tornado warning. It was up more towards East Windsor and right on the border of Mercer County, as well as central parts of Route 9 there as you head into Monmouth County. There it is. So as we widen out here, yes, this is the border here of Mercer County where 95 is in 130. And then here is where you bump into um, Monmouth County, the severe thunderstorm warning there till 430. They issued a severe thunderstorm warning, but they did not continue the tornado warning for the as of yet. Okay, so they did issue a severe thunderstorm warning beyond that tornado warning until 4.30. So extended the severe thunderstorm warning, but at this moment in time, they did not reissue the tornado warning past 4.15, which is in still that area of I-95 and Route 133. But I can tell you by looking at the radar, looking at the velocity, it is east of this part of the tornado warning. It is more now pushing way into the central part of New Jersey here. And you, as you can see, the storm continues to split further and further apart, which is good news, meaning that it is weakening its structure. It is not one storm anymore. It becomes two storms, so two storms fighting for the same atmosphere at this moment in time, but a still a nasty storm as it's pushing into uh, Monmouth County in central parts of New Jersey. Uh, here is Long Branch. That's pretty far up into New Jersey. 195 here near Jackson. That is a severe thunderstorm warning with winds that could be in excess of 60 miles an hour, still hail a possibility with this storm. Uh, dangerous lightning as well. This all originated at 2, 340 this afternoon near Edinburgh. That's about seven miles to the east of Trenton. It was moving at 45 miles an hour originally, then went down to 35 miles an hour as it was pushing to the east. That's the momentum of this storm and it continues to push to the east. And guys, I'm gonna bring in Shari, I'm gonna bring in Brian. Uh, this, I can say now, is safely out of our viewing area. But of course, within our viewing area, we do have damage, and we do have that one person trapped in their car in West Windsor Township. Uh, in fact, Adam, uh, Paul telling us right now that the tornado warning has, in fact, just been canceled as we speak. So, an eventful period of time, and a certainly most unusual event, for this point in February, but here we are. We're going to have more on this breaking weather story and the severe weather uh, in the area later on in the newscast. In the meantime, we want to turn now to some breaking news playing out in North Philadelphia this afternoon.